Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how I painted this Bialtan Eldar for Warhammer 40k. White is often a very difficult color to paint and I try to simplify the process in this video and make it as easy as I can get it. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I hope you like this video and if you like it please like, comment and subscribe and stay after the video to know how you can support my channel. I'm going to start by priming the model with Rustoleum Automotive Gray Primer. You can use white instead. This will make the painting much easier if we start with a light base. I'm going to start by base coating the whole model with Ulthuan Gray. This color is very close to white but not quite. It's a little bit off to very light gray. And I'm going to cover the whole armor with this color. Uh, even using a light base like this uh, light gray for uh, primer, uh, this process took me at least uh, three or four coats. And I thinned down my paints with Liquitex liquid drying retarder so that uh, the paints flow smoothly onto the model. The thing about painting white is that uh, it's gonna look patchy on the first layers and you have to apply one quick layer and move along onto other parts of the model and then let it dry like in here after the first coat I gave it a second one and uh, don't move the paint around while you already painted it onto the model because if you move it it's gonna break the layer and it's gonna create crumbs and strokes and you don't want that so you want to quickly move around the model and give it a layer and uh, let it dry and don't tamper with the drying paint and uh, keep applying layers once the old ones are dry and uh, until you get full opacity. This is true with all colors but it's more difficult on white because it doesn't cover very well. Next I'm going to use Warpstone Glow and with this color I'm going to paint the helmet of this model. Very careful not to get onto the white. If you do you can uh, very quickly uh, clean it up with a wet brush and or uh, use uh, the old Ulthuan Gray to clean it up. Next, I'm going to use Nuln Oil and I'm not gonna shade the whole model. I'm going, I'm going to use a fine detail brush and this I'm going to use it to only wash into the recesses of the model very carefully with the fine detail brush. This is going to make a little bit of a mess, uh, but try your hardest not to get it into the whole model, just get it into the recesses. This is called pin washing. And uh, just try to line all of the recesses of the model to give them the shadow that they need to pop up all of the detail on the on the armor. This obviously is going to have to be cleaned up and it's, it's very easy actually but we want to minimize the amount of cleanup that we have to do by trying to make a clean job on the washing but it's actually very simple. The model should look like this after the pin washing. Next I'm going to use Ulthuan Gray again, which is the base coat that we used before. And I'm going to clean up all of the places that we didn't want the wash to go to. Because the wash is not as opaque as normal colored paints, it's very easy to clean up. And uh, just take your time with a fine detail brush and uh, push the wash back onto the recesses on places that you, you didn't want it and uh, just clean up. Now that that's done I'm going to use white scar and when uh, with a fine detail brush and a little bit of drying retarder I'm going to edge highlight all of the edges on the armor. It is a very a little bit difficult to see under the light and the camera it sometimes comes out as too bright and you don't see a clear distinction between Ulthuan Grey and White. 
but when you do it yourself you are going to notice the clear difference and uh, just try to edge highlight all of the edges and on places that are rounded you can highlight the top parts and that's pretty much it be very careful to uh, be clean and neat and this is how the model should look at the end of this step Next I'm going to use Warpstone Glow again to clean up the greens because I used the known oil onto these parts as well, onto the recesses of the greens. And I'm just cleaning up, just making sure the green layer is uh, strong and uh, clean up all of the mess ups. Next I'm going to use Skarsnik Green. With this color I'm going to edge highlight all of the edges of the green. The same way that we did the white, but with green. If you make your edge highlights a little bit too uh, big, you can clean up with the previous uh, base coat color, which is uh, Warpstone Glow, and push the color back onto the edges. Uh, don't forget to thin down your paints, because thick paint is going to look pretty bad, so uh, avoid trying to use paint straight from the pot. Next I'm going to mix Skarsnik Green with White Scar, about 1 to 1, just to give it a, high, a higher uh, highlight onto these places. And I'm going to only highlight the places that are sharpest on the edges, both on the helmet and on the cloth, or places that you decided to be green. Next with Avalon Black, I'm going to use this color to paint the gun and all of the metal parts. This is just a simple base coat, being very careful to paint around all of the white details, not painting them. Uh, I would suggest just painting around the hands and then painting the rest of the gun. Once that's done, I'm going to use LED Belcher. With this color, I'm going to base coat all of the metallic parts on the model, which are very few. It's just details on the gun and around the armor. I don't think there's much at all. But nevertheless, we're going to base coat all of the silver parts with this color. Next, I'm going to use Nolan Oil to shade those silver parts very quickly. And then we're going to move on to highlight the black. With that, I'm going to use Eshin Gray. And I'm going to get all of the edges of the gun. And all of the black parts around the model as well. After that's done, I'm going to use Downstone. And with this color, I'm going to edge highlight only the sharpest edges of the black. There's a lot of edge highlighting on these figures, especially on the ones that are uh, armored and that don't have any cloth or skin. So uh, to help you with that, use the drying retarder and uh, that'll keep the paint wet on the tip of your brush and they'll make the the life of the paint extend a lot more so that you can keep using the same paint to edge highlight. Next I'm going to highlight the silver with Iron Breaker. This is just touching on the places where uh, the recess is not touched by the, by the wash and to highlight the silver a lot more. And then I'm going to use Mephisto Red to pick a couple of stones and make them soul stones. I'm going to base coat the round shapes with this color to make them look like jewels. The second color for this uh, soul stones, I'm going to use Wild Rider Red. And I'm going to try to use, uh, use it on the half lower right part of this stones. Also on the lenses, I'm using the same steps on the lenses 
And to finish off, I'm going to use Fire Dragon Bright as the brightest highlight on the uh, bottom right corner of the stones. And to finish it up, I'm going to use White Scar and just uh, paint a little dot of white on the upper left corner to suggest a little reflection of light. And this is the finished model. I have to say I had a lot of fun painting this model. It was very easy to do, actually, and white is typically a very hard color to paint. And if you want a different approach on white, you can still watch my white scar tutorial in which I use glazes to bring the color up to white. This method is a lot easier and very straightforward. So if you're trying to paint a white army, I would really suggest you using this method instead. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. Let me know in a comment what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel, you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't, that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing, but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.